Billionaire Carl Icahn says the market will implode. We have got to talk about this, guys, and why he sees the market as potentially imploding here in the future, guys. We're going to get into all that. First off, as far as the markets went today, it was a crazy day in the markets, okay? So the markets opened down huge. It looked like it was going to be another awful day. We, we hit all the way down on the Dow to 23,700. Now we've bounced back to around 24,700 at one point. Um, as of my most recent screenshot, we, we bounced back down to 24,300. The market is all over the place today, guys. It's an insane day out there. I ended up costing myself a lot of money. So basically I deposited money into my account that I was ready to buy this morning, okay? I wanted to put most of the money into cruise. I was also gonna buy some shares of Eli. That's not really a concern, but the cruise shares, okay? So I decide, instead of waking up at 6.30 when the market opens, okay? It opens at 6.30 here in Vegas, right? I decide I'm gonna sleep till 8.30. I'm gonna sleep in a couple extra hours, okay? Those couple extra hours cost me several thousand dollars, okay? Cruise this morning opened around $37.85. So in the morning it was trading around $37, $38. Instead, when I woke up, it was already trading around $42, $43. So I ended up having to buy in the high 42s all because I decided to be lazy and sleep in two extra hours, guys. Were those two extra hours really worth a couple thousand dollars? I'm afraid not. Carl Icahn, let's get to him here. So he says the market will uh, will one day implode because of these wacky funds using so much leverage. Leverage, for you guys that don't know what that is, it's basically when you take out debt to invest money, okay? There are too many exotic leverage products, and one day these securities are going to blow up the market, Carl Icahn says. Carl Icahn's a billionaire from the stock market, by the way. For, he runs a big um, company that's kind of like, uh, I would call it the poor man's Berkshire Hathaway, okay? The billionaire investor says the market itself is way over leveraged and at some point could implode but for now he believes this thing will probably bounce back okay this was coming out of him today billionaire carl icon told cnbc on tuesday that there are way too many exotic leverage products for investors to trade and one day these securities are going to blow up the market yeah, this is a quote from him now the market is a casino on steroids wow okay uh, that's pretty that's pretty harsh the market is a casino on steroids with these ex uh, exchange traded funds and exchange traded notes they are fault lines that will eventually lead to an earthquake on wall street icon said the market itself is way over leveraged icon said on fast money adding one day this thing is going to implode holy smokes he described the possible implosion as maybe eventually worse this is this is the craziest thing maybe worse than 1990 or 1929 uh, the great depression basically stock market crash there so to say something like that that's pretty outlandish guys that's pretty outlandish holy smokes uh, the latest example is an obscure security which is designed to be a bet on a calm market that is being blamed for causing an influx of selling in recent days, okay? Um, so basically, the, the short-term ex uh, exchange-traded note blew up overnight as investors were forced to sell when the market went haywire. As a result, Credit Suisse on Tuesday said that later this month, it will end trading on that particular product, which was supposed to give the, op uh, give the opposite return of basically the VIX, okay? Okay, which the VIX is basically tracks volatility, okay? And this is basically an opposite product, so basically you can bet on the markets are being calm, okay? The market has become a much more dangerous place, he said, adding he believes the current volatility is a precursor to things to come. Passive investing is a bubble right now, and that's a great danger, he said, adding investors aren't realizing they're piling into index funds and that these investments don't always go up. But as much as he sounded like he was uh, sounding alarm bells, Icon said, I don't think this is an explosive time. I think this thing will probably bounce back, okay? So a few places I want to take this, okay? The first place is, is there too much um, basically margin out there? Is there too much leverage in the market? Too much you know, money sloshing around that people are investing on debt? Absolutely, in my opinion. Absolutely, there is too much. Is there so much that you know it concerns me to a certain extent where I'm like, I gotta get out of this market or something? No, it's not that bad. However, we could get to that place. We could very well get to that place eventually, okay? I just don't feel like it's there. 
The only other issue I kind of have with what he said is basically, you know, this thing that the market's going to implode, you know, we're going to have a bad stock market crash, you know, at some point, he says one day, you know, things like that. I always kind of don't like that just because it's like, obviously, you know, everybody's going to be right. Yeah. Are we going to have crash? Yeah. I'm 28 years old. Are we going to have a lot of crashes? Are we going to have a lot of corrections throughout my life if I'm fortunate enough to live a full life? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of them, guys. We're gonna have several of them. We're gonna have probably three to four stock market crashes if I live a normal life, right? And we're gonna have probably eight to 10 stock market corrections, if not 15 to 20 stock market corrections throughout the course of my life. So to, to you know say, oh, one day this is gonna implode. Yeah, it is gonna one day implode. That's just how the world works, guys. So uh, you know that's kind of my feeling as far as that goes. Too much leverage, absolutely, but it's not at the point where I'm like, I need to get out of this market or something like that, guys. And also, you know, Carl Icahn, he bought about a billion dollars. So basically when Trump was elected, next day the markets fell huge. Um, there was a lot of worry out there. Carl Icahn the next day was bought about a billion dollars worth of stocks supposedly. So he was out there buying and obviously he's he should be up, you know, huge on most of those positions that he bought, you know, a little over a year ago after Trump was elected and whatnot. So very interesting stuff coming out of him. But at the same time, you know, the, the whole, oh, it's going to go implode one day. Yeah, that's going to happen. And, um, you know, I, I definitely understand that you know, leverage is a worry and there definitely is too much leverage in my opinion, but it's not quite to the, this, you know, severity that I feel like, oh, we're going to go into a 1929 great depression. Like that's what he's talking about. Like worse than 1929. In my opinion, I don't see that much leverage out there. I do see too much, but I don't see to that extent. So, um, we shall see what happens with all this guys. Let me know what your opinion is on the comments about this whole deal. Do you think, you know, um, the, we're in a situation that we're going to have something, you know, worse than the great depression. Um, is he just kind of, you know, taking advantage of the moment, you know, right now with the stock market being crazy and just kind of, you know, getting some words out there. So maybe he can be right over the long term because obviously, you know, everybody's going to say there's going to be a stock market crash at some point. They're all going to be right, right? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. And also let me know if there's any stocks you guys have been buying, you know, with the stock market going down huge on Friday and even worse yesterday and Monday. Let me know if there's any stocks that you guys have been buying out there. I would love to see from you guys in that comment section if there's any advantages you've taken advantage of and whatnot. And by the way, don't sleep in two extra hours. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by My Private Stock Market Group. Make sure if you have not already gotten in there, you get in there. It's so a third link down there in the description. We now have over 300 serious stock market investors in that group that absolutely love it. Anytime I buy shares or sell shares in a company, I post that same day on what I did and why I did it. Also, now on Mondays, I post videos in there kind of teaching you a lesson that you kind of need to learn about stocks. That's a new segment I've added for Mondays. On Fridays, we look into a ton of different stocks and I give you a ton of different things that are going on with stocks as far as earnings go, as far as companies I'm looking into, all that type of stuff. Also, as a member, you have access to a 12-part options course that you can view anytime you want and learn about options. Options is a very valuable thing for so many people that are in the stock market to learn about. Also, so on top of all that, you're in a group with over 300 serious investors who are constantly commenting on stocks they are buying or selling and reasons behind that. So you definitely want to get in there if you are not already. Third link down there in the description. And I look forward to seeing you in there.